Invisible and unprotected, domestic helpers in the Philippines work endless hours for very little pay. Under the country's labor code, $18 a month is enough for 2.5 million helpers who live in employers' homes doing the chores, minding the children, and anything else that they're told to do. Nearly 400,000 of them are minors. Among the thousands that go to the cities every day from the provinces are those that will become employed as domestic workers. Most of them are informally recruited, by word of mouth, through family and friends. Like 17-year-old Anne, who first came to work in Manila when she was 13. She says she was verbally and physically abused and changed employers several times. But she needed the $35 a month salary to feed her siblings back home. Her last employer, who she had to call uncle, was the worst of all, and she had to be rescued from him by social workers. He hugged me and kissed me all over and he wouldn't stop. I was crying already. I said, uncle, please have mercy. I said, please no. He held me and then he let go and said never to tell this to others. If you tell them, you'll see. And I said yes. With few rights, no employment contracts and little to defend them, most domestics feel subjugated by a deeply entrenched culture of patronage. A move to amend the law first proposed years ago is still waiting to be passed by Congress. The whole situation and the myth that surround the sector is really closely related to slavery. If you can afford to have television or refrigerator in this country, you can afford domestic worker. And, and of course, Giving to that situation, the, the, there's a lot of resistance. The migration of domestic workers to foreign countries is already regulated by the government, and steps are being introduced to do the same for those that work locally. But the change is slow to take hold. It's good work and a decent job to be made, but people need to respect their help and not treat them like slaves. A seemingly simple dream to be treated like other employees with rights and benefits and to not be invisible anymore. Margot Tigas, Al Jazeera, Manila.